Hey everybody. Okay, real quick. I know I keep talking about this, but it's because it's bothering my spirit. Like, it's really um, sad and depressing that, you know, these issues are coming up about Black-owned businesses when it comes to hair care, when it comes to products, because we know how important products are for us. We know the struggle and how, you know, we haven't had products made for us for years. And so to finally have products made by black people for black natural hair, it's like we cling to that and um, we want to support them. And, and then we support them and then boom, you know, they get so big, they make so much money and then they sell to a Procter and Gamble or to a L'Oreal and then there's issues with the products. One thing that someone in my comments um, made a good point about is how um, there's a lot of fake products out there. I've experienced this personally recently with the Botana oil. Um, I got schemed. You know, I ordered from a place that I thought was legit off of, um, was it Instagram or Facebook? I think it was Instagram. And they sent me some, some mess, some fake stuff. And someone mentioned that Myel in particular, like there's been fake products of Myel's that's floating around out there. And it just makes me angry because now it's like so much stuff is fake there's so many scammers out there especially on social media that you really don't know who to trust um i'm very leery of buying anything off of tiktok facebook or instagram ever again because of the scammers and they are out here tough y'all not just in the, on the internet, but even in the stores, like you have to be careful. And all of that brings me back to the point of supporting your local vendors. Like we have to get active ourselves and find local sources within our own communities. Um, the little small mom and pop shops or if there's festivals or you know whatever in your area you know the vendors whether they're african whatever the whoever they are black if they're selling like like all natural like organic raw shea butter or anything for hair or locks um support them try them out and if they're legit like like just keep supporting them because that's really it's either do that or like i said you know get in that kitchen and start mixing up your own stuff and it doesn't take a lot you just need to know the right combinations and that's where google comes in because you can google this stuff you can find recipes there's so many how to's on google youtube making your own hair growth oils i did that for a long time um, and I enjoyed it. And, you know, there's nothing better than knowing exactly what you're putting on your hair and on your skin. Because I like to make things that you can use from head to toe. You can use all of your body. I can use it. My family can use it. I know what it is. I know what's in it. And everything in it is organic. It's not fake. And it's good for you. And that's what I like. That's, you know, knowing exactly what's going on your hair and going on your skin. Because nowadays, y'all, we have to read labels. And I'm also, I'm glad somebody else pointed out in the comments that even with the Black-owned products that's supposed to be organic and, you know, all the good things, you still have to read those labels. There's products out there that's made by black folks that's not good for us. That's full of chemicals, y'all. And we got to call a spade a spade. Not every black-owned company is good. 
not every black owned company is truly looking out for us and there's a lot of people out there that's tr that's just trying to make a buck and um we still have to be careful just because they black don't mean we should blindly just you know support them we got to do our due diligence we need to read those labels and i know i provided you all with a list of black companies that make black hair care products for natural hair and you know yeah i gave you all that list I, I made that list but still do your due diligence look them up go to their websites read what they put in their products and um because it may or may not be good and it may or may not be things that you want to put on your in your hair or on your skin so again i'm just a source to help like and i want you all to keep those recommendations coming because if you know of some great um black owned businesses that's legit that's on the up and up and that you know their products are good for your hair and scalp there's not a bunch of nasty chemicals in them please let us know because we all will love to know but if you or if you make your own stuff let us know let us know are you selling it or do you just make it yourself um and if you don't mind sharing like what type of oils do you like to work with i'm not asking you to share recipes unless you want to that's completely up to you but you know i think we need this community of helping one another and or at least pointing each other in the right direction so we can get the things um that are good for us and i think that's what we're all looking for like we're constantly being disappointed by a lot of these uh companies these these businesses that really are their products just aren't the same and at the end of the day i'm not trying to bad mouth Mayel because people have had their experiences with these products and i'm not going to dismiss um anybody's um experiences with Mayel. i don't think it's a coincidence hi but um you know when a lot of people have these issues it needs to be addressed it needs to be looked into and and then we need alternatives like we need um okay if this is happening with this particular product or products these different companies where can i go from there what, what can we do what's the alternatives that we can use so i'm just kind of forward thinking like okay make our own support local and just kind of go from there share recipes you know i think that's where we need to go so y'all let me know get in those comments let me know your thoughts and have a wonderful monday i'll talk to you later Bye bye